in the part B, first of all, we will pick the samples from water bath and then add the phenol chloroform isoamyl alcohol. Now, this is our sample after the overnight digestion. After the overnight digestion, we will complete the process of DNA extraction, which is the part B. Now we will add the phenol chloroform isoamyl alcohol in all the sample. The basic purpose of phenol chloroform isoamyl alcohol is for the phase separation. The basic purpose of isoamyl in the phenol in PCI is to prevent the foaming formation in the interface of the layers. Now we will add the 300 microliter of phenol chloroform isoamyl alcohol in all the sample. We will set the pipette at 300 microliter. Phenol chloroform isoamyl alcohol, known as PCI, is an organic solution which is light sensitive. Therefore, we wrapped it in an aluminium foil. Actually, the PCI contains the three components phenol, chloroform, and isoamyl alcohol. The ratio of each component is 25, ratio 24, ratio 1. 25 parts are of phenol. 24 parts are of chloroform and one part is of isoamyl alcohol. We will add the 3 mic 300 microliter of phenol chloroform isoamyl alcohol in our sample. After the addition of phenol chloroform isoamyl alcohol, we will vortex the sample for 5 minutes. After the vortex, we will centrifuge the samples at 13,000 rpm at 4 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. After the centrifugation, you will see that there will be the phase separation in the tube. Because the PCI was an organic solution, so it separates the DNA from the protein and make the distinct layers. The lower layer, which is at the bottom, contains the debris and the proteins. Debris are the worn out parts of the cell and the upper aqueous phase contain our DNA. We will transfer the upper aqueous phase into the new Appendorf tube.
after the transfer of upper aqueous phase to the new tube we will then add the isopropanol to precipitate the dn the basic function of the isopropanol is to precipitate the nucleic acid so here in this case when we are extracting the dna the isopropanol will precipitate the dn now we will add the equal amount of isopropanol in the sample so equal amount means the volume that was of the upper phase we will add the same volume of the isopropanol the volume of the upper aqueous phase was 500 microliter so we will add the isopropanol 500 microliter in the sample in order to add the isopropanol we will take a pipette of range 100 1000 microliter and set at 500 microliter after the addition of isopropanol the dna in the tube will get precipitated and we can analyze the threads of the dna in the tube after the addition of isopropanol we will incubate the sample for 5 minutes at room temperature and then we'll proceed to the centrifugation with the same condition 13000 rpm speed for 15 minutes at 4 degree celsius after the centrifugation the dna will be settled down and we will discard the supernatant and then wash the pellet with the chilled ethanol Now we will add the 500 microliter of ice chilled ethanol in order to wash the DNA pellet to remove the remaining contamination. We will set the pipette at 500 microliter in order to add the ice chilled ethanol. after the addition of ice chilled ethanol we will again centrifuge the sample at 8000 rpm for 7 minutes at 4 degree celsius after the centrifugation we will discard the supernatant and then air dry the pellet After the air drying of samples I have added the nucleus free water 
and now we will store the DNA at minus 20 degrees Celsius.